So I guess you guys know I collect things. I've been doing it since, goodness gosh, even when about 10 years old, when I went bottle digging and would bring bottles back and go into the woods and look for, you know, neat old um, artifacts and things. So I collect, I'm going to show you a few things. I collect these old bowls, like this, these old mixing bowls. I have more on the other side, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I collect these old um, uh, glass jars. I know I've got things in the way right now. Just a little bit of things I have in my collection. I collect a lot of these uh, agateware metal pots. There's some over here. There's a big one over here. Really big one. And a uh, teapot. Coffee pot, rather. With all the cups that match. I put those things on there, not stickers, they're little um, lightweight uh, magnets. There's more on the door over here too, see? The blue speckled. There's some things like that over here too. A couple of them, the lids and stuff like over here, I found that in a dump. I'd like to go back to that dump, but I don't know how well I'd be able to get up to it and into it. So, let's see what else we got here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's some more um, kind of like crockery things. Matching set. Here's the old Coke bottles and the carrier. A little bit of everything. Of course, I've got my old bottles, which you guys know about. I've got my, these things which are advertisement thermometers. I've got quite a few of those. So even over here, I've got some. If I can get in here. They're from different areas. So I usually come across those at flea markets and things like that. I've got my strep-sided flasks up here. Again, with this light on the other side, it makes everything kind of messed up today. Uh, I could have turned the light off, probably would have come out better. So then I turn around here, got more here at my 1950s era kitchen. A little bit of everything. 